Walking along the water, it's almost impossible for Numuturai, a 17-year-old who recently fled Gambia, to appreciate the beauty of a Mediterranean that now symbolizes so much suffering. I always uh, feel like to cry, you know, because it's sad, it's very hard. There are thousands of people drawn in the sea, would have been like me here speaking, would have been people who will be good leaders tomorrow, would have been people who will contribute positively to the society, but they are all gone. On this bright day in Palermo, aid workers are attempting to remind the world of a kind of darkness that's hard for anyone to overcome, the deaths of so many children. A ceremony in which paper sailboats were released at sea to commemorate those who risked their lives along the central Mediterranean migration route. It's always dangerous and people are so many in the boat and the boat is not secured. So it's really hard. Justin Forsyth, UNICEF's deputy executive director, says the timing and location of this ceremony is deliberate. These G7 leaders are going to be meeting here from Friday night onwards. Literally, as a few miles offshore, thousands of people are at sea. We've had hundreds um, in the last few months drown, and we've in the last few days had 30 people drown offshore. This video, released by the Italian Coast Guard, shows a rescue operation carried out just one day earlier, Wednesday, off the coast of Libya. Harrowing scenes that are becoming more common as the weather gets warmer. Already this year, over 50,000 migrants and refugees have arrived in Italy. To give you some perspective on the scale of this crisis, by this time last year, the number of migrants and refugees that had made it to Italy was around 30,000. Humanitarian organizations say the situation is growing more dire by the day. You've got to say that Europe as a whole has completely failed. I mean, we've got more unaccompanied children coming than ever before on this central Mediterranean route, and all have been traumatized, abused, enslaved, raped. There's very little done to help them. By the end of the ceremony, as paper sailboats continued to drift, members of the Coast Guard went back to work, striking reminders of both tragedy and danger in equal measure. Mohammed Jamjoum Al Jazeera, Palermo.